Hey guys! So, if you've been watching our videos, you've probably heard me sound like a broken record with, I have a vacation coming up, I have a vacation coming up. But I'm so excited. I normally do not take vacations in the summertime. It's weird. I like to save my vacations to the fall. But I'm going to the Dominican, like I mentioned before, for my cousin's wedding, and my husband and I will be there for a week, which means I have to travel, and I have to pack for traveling. And that's something that Mindy and I have not showed on this channel yet, is how we pack for a trip. So I'm going to do how I pack going to another country and then come in the next couple of months Mindy will do what she packs when she goes to San Francisco. So I'm going to try to make this really quick because I, I'm i not a minimalist if you guys, yeah, no. I pack like I might need everything. I like to have options. That's just how I roll. Um, I make it work. But here you go. Uh, when we travel, you have to have anything that is a, in liquid form. So lip glosses, face wash, hand sanitizer, three ounces or less, can go on your person in a quart size bag. Now this is the one I got in the Birch Box. I think it was the May Box. Um, it's actually going to come in use. I'm excited about it. And you know the funny thing? I will pack a an extra clear one just in case I get a TSA agent that doesn't like that this has color on it. But this is all the stuff that will go in my purse that I have to take out and lay through the scanner and they look at. Now, I'm not going to like say each individual thing, but I will show you. I travel with hand sanitizer. You're on a plane, you need it. This is a little Bath & Body Works one. I love it. Um, I don't put any of my makeup in my checked bag. It all goes with me. Um, I don't care if I take 15 lipsticks, which you're going to see, I put that in my bag. I know it's obsessive and my husband's like, how, you only have like one set of lips. Like, how are you using all these lipsticks? But I'm a girl. I need it. Um, I have the Garnier BB cream that I'm going to take that goes on me. I'll also have the tinted moisturizer from Origins, but I that hasn't shipped to me yet. That will go in here too. I put my little more um, Origins moisturizer. I know it can pack. I put it in here. I have it on my purse in case I need it. Um, I have my concealer, which is the Maybelline Age Rewind. Take that on me as well. I actually probably will use that on the plane. Um, <laughs> This is when it gets crazy. Besides my mascara that I throw in there, and I have this little Benefit Sunbeam that I'm going to take because I think it's going to be the perfect opportunity to really use it on a daily basis. The rest that's in here, oh, besides my little primer potion and my little travel size Jennifer Aniston, which I cannot wait to use. Isn't this so cute? I love it. All lip products. I'm just going to show you a few. I have everything from a... Uh, L'Oreal Gloss to MAC Lipstick, I mean MAC Pink Poodle. Isn't that ridiculous? I'm not going to pull them all out, but I have everything from lip conditioners to lip balms like the Dr. Pepper to pinks and corals and nudes. This is just how I roll. I take this, if I'm taking it every day in my purse, why not take it on our trip, right? I mean, that's what I think. Um, but that goes in here and that has to be pulled out and checked through security and each person can only have one therefore if I need other stuff I put it in with my husband's stuff because he doesn't really take anything in his little plastic bag um then this goes with me in whatever bag that I'm carrying and this is the rest of my products and this is all stuff that is in powder form or like I think I'm going to take this Smashbox palette it has all the colors in it for fun um it has some neutrals it has some brights Cool. I think I'm going to take that. Then I have this little, it's a little beat up. Don't judge me. Um, a little travel case from Lancome and I have all my brushes. And I only take a powder brush, a blush brush, and then a few eye brushes. I don't do anything too crazy. I feel like I'm going to keep my makeup pretty minimal while I'm there. So I don't know why I'm taking all of this stuff, but I'm a girl. What can I say? Um, I will take the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten as a little face powder and also the Tarte Amazonian Clay and Rose. This is an all over shimmer powder. Probably will use this a lot more than this maybe? I don't know. I just want to have everything in case my mood changes and I want to wear a little powder. I don't want to wear anything else. Um, as far as blushes are concerned, I am taking three. I'm taking a Laura Geller one that is Blush and Brighten and Apricot Berry. So this will be more of a pink sheen if that's what I want. 
I have this mineralized skin finish from MAC in the semi precious rose quartz. And this is a highlighter all in one, a blush and a highlighter all in one if I want more of a peachy coral cheek. And then this is a NARS, it's called Luster Blush. And it's just more of a bronzy, just enhance your cheek color. I have a feeling this one's gonna get a lot of love on vacation. Um, as far as highlighters go, do I need technically three? No, but I'm taking them. This is the MAC Superb. I like it, it's rose gold. I mean, what if I just wanna throw on some tinted moisturizer and highlight my cheeks and go to breakfast? I mean, I might wanna do that. Um, and then the benefit, what's, what's up? Finally said that after, I don't know, a year of talking about it. This will probably go with me. This is something that I could probably, if I have the other two, leave behind. But it is one of my favorites. Um, I will be taking a couple extra eyeshadows. One is the eyeshadow that I use for highlight all the time, and it's the MAC Snow Season. It's a great uh, brow bone highlighter. And then this is a Laura Geller Baked Marble Eyeshadow in Amethyst and Stardust. Now, I may or may not take this one. It's pink and purple. Uh, I mean, but it's so tiny. It can just pack. And then this is a Sephora Prismachrome in Moonbeam. And it's gold. It's just a plain gold. And it's funny because I'll take all this stuff and then watch during the day. I usually, I'll probably just like swipe this on and call it a day. But I'm one of those people that I'd rather overpack than get there and be like, Oh man, like I wish I had such and such. <laughs> this is when you know I have a problem because just like my 30 lip products, I like to have plenty of eyeliners because I think they're fun for color because I won't do my eye makeup before I go for a day at the pool or the beach. But what I will do is a waterproof eyeliner with some waterproof mascara so I don't look totally haggard at the beach. So I've got like a bright green, I've got blue, I've got uh, like teal and purple. Like I have the fun colors. I've got this one, um, Electric, that I just saw Tiffany D do a tutorial on. This was already packed, Tiffany. I'm reading your mind, girl. Um, and then I'll take this little Anastasia like brow powder. Brow gel, not brow powder. Um, gel, it's a gel. I wonder if this needs to be packed. Probably. I'll put that up there. Um, and then I have this because I always need to sharpen. I mean, what if you need to sharpen when you get there? I don't know. And then just thrown in here is some extra. I will tell you this will be a little bit more organized when I actually get on the plane to travel. But I wanted to show you guys first so I kind of just like threw it all here so I could film it today. Um, I don't have oily skin but when you're sweating a lot it does produce a little bit of oil I feel like. So these little Bosha, Bosha um, green tea blotting linens. I'm just throwing these in here to take and I always have some Tylenol because... I don't know. I feel like Wes always gets a headache when we travel. It's probably because I tee him today. I talk him to death. Um, and then this last thing is a hot mess of product, but I wanted to show you what I take in my actual suitcase. It is a Roxy like train case. And this is funny because Mindy actually gave this to me like literally almost five years ago. And I still use it. I feel like... Hold on, she's in here. You had one too, right? No. You didn't? Uh, um, I have a, um, a small Roxy case, but it's not a hard outer case like that. Well, I'm telling you, I probably will use this until it falls apart. Because it's hard, Like, I feel like whatever's in it is not going to get damaged. If your luggage is thrown from here to the Dominican, I feel like it's going to be fine. It's a really nice hard case, and I really love it. And in here, I put all kinds of stuff. Now... This is busting out of a little plastic bag because this is like a little sandwich size, but I usually put all my products, anything that can potentially leak in plastic bags, in quart size plastic bags, and then put them in this hard case. But I have everything in here from some sunscreen, a little travel size sunscreen, to aloe. I have travels. I like to have travel size everything, like makeup remover. This is when you get those samples that you're like, oh, what am I going to do with all these samples? This is when it comes in handy. Like, this is a little travel size uh, face wash. I have a little travel size shower gel from Bath and Body Works that I take. And this doubles for me as a shower gel as well as I would use this to shave my legs. 
And speaking of shaving my legs, I take two little disposable razors and pretty much just leave them there when I'm done. Um, now this is a little probably much to pack because it's such a huge bottle, but I can't leave home without this. It's that Body Shop Honey Bronze Dry Shimmering Oil. Yeah, the smell of it and the fact that I need to have some bronze skin when I'm on vacation. I can't wait. And then I just have thrown in here another sunscreen. It's the L'Oreal Sublime Sun 50 Plus. Um, my mom was excited for us two to get this because she saw it on the Today Show and said it was a must-have. If you guys aren't from the States, then that's like our morning news show that a lot of people watch. Um, I do travel size lotion. This is Malibu Heat from Bath & Body Works. Um, I'd rather take like a body butter with me, but it's just too bulky. This is so much easier and it smells really good. Um, I do take a lip scrub because I still have dry lips 12 months out of the year. And um, I feel like I need to have that. And let's see. Um, I bring my little eye cream. This is a little sample size that I feel like I'm almost done with. So maybe I'll even finish this up while I'm there. And well, now that we do empty videos, I'll still bring this back because normally I would just toss it. Um, but I got to show what I use. Then I have another sunscreen for my face. It's the same uh, brand, the L'Oreal Sublime Sun. It's got 50 plus and it says it's perfect for your face. Um, skin beautifying skincare with antioxidants. I don't know. I sometimes put on sunscreen on my face and it doesn't sting my eyes. It stings my cheeks. So I'm trying this to see if that helps with that. Um, if it doesn't work, the moisturizer that I'm taking is one from the drugstore. Anybody can go get it. It's the Aveeno Positively Ageless and it's SPF 30. So I'm taking this. It is a big size. I don't care. It's hard. It's not going to be damaged and whatever. But it has a 30 SPF in it. So if I feel like the sunscreen's not working, I'll just have this on anyway first to get that 30 on there and then hopefully I'll be set. So if I have an issue with the actual sunscreen, that plus a hat will work. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. Um, as far as, no, I'll go to that last. I take these little makeup cleansing wipes, the Neutrogena ones. They're okay. I mean, they're nothing. I'll be honest with you. I don't love makeup wipes, I don't think, to take off my actual makeup. Um, but this is such a little small pack. It's easy. I can use a bunch. There's seven of them. So basically, I'll use them all while I'm there and just be done with that. I think what's left are hair products, and I have my little Aveda uh, travel size color conserve shampoo and conditioner. Now, this actually still has Aveda in it, but if it didn't, I would just probably wash these out and put whatever I'm using in it. But I like the little small size, um, and usually Wes can just use my shampoo. He doesn't condition. Um, I have a little Bumble and Bumble shine spray that I'll take for the couple of times that I will dry my hair. And then this little sample of the N4, number four high performance, what is this? Super Comb Prep and Protect. It's supposed to help like with heat and frizz and all that. Got it in our birch box. May's birch box? June. June. June's birch box and um, haven't even tried it but gonna take it with me and then I'll also have a couple other hair products um, that I did not bring with me that I want to put in little tiny size I'm gonna take a little of the bumble and bumble surf spray and maybe a little Moroccan oil but I want to put those in some really little things to pack because you don't need probably a lot of that and I bring a bar of soap I bring a size that I can just throw away um, plain Dove, I don't really care what it is when we go on vacation, whatever's small and fits. Um, I have my travel size toothpaste in here, which doesn't really have to go in here, but, and it's still in the box, so it's actually taken up room. But I really like this Crest Optic White. Do I think it whitens? Probably not, Do I? but I like the taste of it. And these last few things are just like randoms that I think people need to have in their in their travel bag at all times. One, a little thing of Q-tips. Now, I did fall for the get them for a dollar because they're already in this little hard case. You could seriously take a little handful, put them in a Ziploc, and it probably saves space. But I like these. I don't know. And then when we get back from our trip, Wes usually uses this little case for when he travels for work. So it kind of works out. And we don't just throw that case away. Um, I always go out and buy a whole new set of these Goody Ouchless hairbands 
I got the really bright colors because I love them. Um, always have a nail file, just in case. I've learned my lesson on that. And these are for Wes, not really for me, but little Tums, like a little travel thing of Tums, just in case. I don't usually have a problem and need these, but sometimes he does. And I'm a good wife, so I pack those for him. A little lint roller. If you have pets and you travel, I don't care if you take the stuff right out of the washing machine, out of the dryer, and put them in your suitcase, you will have a few pet hairs travel with you. So I always have a little one of these to take, just in case. If you're married to someone named Wes, you need one of these. This is a Tide to Go mini stain stick. He stains everything. He will use this the entire week. This is, and no, I say this and then watch I get there and I have a problem. If you're sharing a hotel room with someone, Febreze to Go bathroom spray. It's a baby one. I don't even know the scent. Oh, Spring and Renewal. I don't even care what it smells like. It's bathroom spray, pack it, just in case. And then the last little things I have in here, oh, I have my little makeup remover pads and I always travel with several sets of little hair clips to like pull my hair back. Is that enough? <laughs> Am I packing for nine weeks away? Probably. And after looking at this, I might pull out a couple of makeup products. Maybe not. I might add to it too. But I think I got it I think I got it locked down. I think I'm I'm all set. So I don't know if this helps you or makes you laugh at me because you see that I have a crazy insane problem with packing. I'm, you're probably going to see a really organized bag for when Mindy does it that just shows how different we are. Um, maybe one day I'll get there. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.